So we can see this monster horse sprayer from Kelly's of Forest. Uh, we're down in Cork here. Um, it's been run by a Trimble system. So we pop up here. Owen is just putting the final touches on a, on a little extra we added today. But we'll pop up to Owen here and have a chat and see what's going on. How are you on? That's very far. How are you on? Good now. It's good. Um, good. Yeah, no, a lot, lot going on here. So, yeah, this GFX 1260, 12 inch display we have here, um, that came with the sprayer, did it? Yeah, that was already on the machine. Um, we just added the 350 here, and reason being, you just wants to use it as a UT menu. It's just easier, just to, rather than have everything on the one screen, just make it a little bit easier. Okay. Uh, more operator friendly. So, so what's going on in the 1260 screen? You have your steering. Yeah, so it's doing the guidance side of things. And that's and auto steering, is it? Yeah, that's auto steering. This is yeah. guidance ready. This sprayer. is guidance ready sprayer. Yeah. So that's doing all the auto steering. Then as well as that, then you have section control down along the bottom. So section and rate. This is a this is a task controller then. Yeah, correct. Yeah, running correct. the spray and functions like that. Yeah. Yeah. And just in the 350 menu, then we've just decided to put the UT. So anything to do with the horse sprayer, it's been run through. So like say the basic functions like boom, lift, and yeah. turn it on and off. Yeah. Um, what else would be going on there? Maybe um, intersections. Um, you could change anything with opening and closing your booms, all that carry on. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anything related to the sprayer is done through this menu now. So like say well, that's the actual functionality of the sprayer, and then. The spraying application then is, is here through yeah. the GPS. Correct, yeah. So we'll say as you come to the end of the swart, if you have a grok in the field, the sections here will start to shut off. So yeah. that'll talk to the sprayer and then start shutting off sections as you come to it. So, so it is interesting to see the difference between UT, which is on top there, yeah. which is universal terminal for Isobus, and then what's going on here is your task controller. Yeah. Isobus task controller. And yeah. then this horse display up here is, I suppose, like a tractor. That's just your main menu. Anything to do with error codes from the horse side of things would all definitely be coming through that side of things. Um, yeah. Just your main menus. Your, as you can see, like your speed is on it here. Also, your RPM, what liters you'd have in the tank. Yeah, very much all that the engine. Kind of, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The brains of the horse will come to that screen. Oh, look, that makes sense, doesn't it? It's, uh, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's really, really good setup. Yeah, no, it's well laid out. It's well laid out. Today, this most of this system was built in, but uh, I suppose we had a solution for the farmer to um, to reduce, I suppose, the impact on the screen and yeah. um, to, to lift one of the functions of the screen over to the 350. And um, yeah, like we had solutions for, for different um, different uh, issues that farmers will face in the cab. So yeah, 